What's up everyone, Kevin O here. Uh, just wanted to throw out a video. Haven't uploaded in like a month now since competition pretty much. And just stuff from after competition. First of all, if you're listening to this, the new Barbell Commission release is live on the website. www.barbellcommissionapparel.com And I'm proud to announce we got a full women's line going on. Muscle tanks, compression shorts, as well as leggings. And of course, all the usual suspects on the guys line. But um, I just want to give an update on what I've been doing since competition. I'm kind of into all-season mode. Um, so I'm doing things mostly to strengthen my weaknesses. But also just having a little fun. And just being a little more active. So, this day, this was kind of like a quad day. I'm splitting my, like, my squat and deadlift days into like squat slash quads. And then deadlift is more like, you know, deadlift slash posterior chain. That's kind of how I'm splitting those up. So on this day, I did the front squats. I worked up to, what, it was like 625 for four, which isn't like a PR or anything, but it felt good. Um, it was the most weight I had moved since comp, basically. I haven't squatted heavy at all. <clears throat> so it felt good just to throw a little weight around for the most part. Um, I felt a little off balance. I haven't done SSB front squats in like... I don't know, like three or four months or something, so it just felt a little off, but it's all good. No big deal. Um, after that, decided to do some sled pushes. I like to do sled pushes where I'm pushing from behind. I'm getting like really nice and low, almost like a sprinter coming out of blocks, so I can really kind of drive my knees, which tends to really beat the shit out of my quads, <laughs> which it did on this particular day. But I like to do these. I like to do them with like very, um, I don't like to go heavy on them. I do them more with moderate weight, where it feels like a little weight, but it's not like maximum weight where I'm not actually sprinting. Like, I like to be able to actually sprint with it. So, did those. They hit quads really well. I like them. And it's more active. You know, works my lungs a little bit. It makes you feel more like an athlete again. So, I always like to do stuff like that in the off-season. Here's what you guys are probably watching this video for. <laughs> <laughs> at the gym I've been training at, it's called Iron Vault, it's in Scarsdale, New York, which is in Westchester, so it's um, the county directly north of New York City. I've been training there lately, I love the gym, it's an awesome gym, but um, they have this, I think it's called the Free Runner, where you can actually sprint fairly close to like the actual positioning you would be in when you sprint, so I was like, you know what, fuck it, let's see if I can still run. <laughs> I was a runner back in the day. You know, I did go to Villanova on a track scholarship. I was a sprinter. I was an All-American 100-200 runner. I don't think I've tried to all-out sprint in, like, over a decade. So, I was definitely very fucking nervous. <laughs> but I was like, fuck it, I'll try it. I saw Larry do it the other week. I was like, oh, I gotta see if I look as ridiculous as he looks when he does it. <laughs> so, so, I tried it out. And it wasn't that bad. Once I got used to it, once I figured out how to kind of how to kind of position on it and balance correctly, it felt good. I felt like I actually ran. You know, I feel like I got some speed in there. I got some. I got some legs still. I got some legs. I don't know. I can still run. I might actually like hit a track one of these days and see if I can do like a 60 meter dash. I'll probably pop a handy, but you know, hopefully it ends well. <laughs> but that's what I did after that. Um, that was it for that day. Another day I went in, I did some log presses. Um, I did some decline bench, but on a flat bench. It was more, it was closer to a flat bench, but I just wanted more of a decline angle. So, I just kind of put my feet up and kind of lifted my hips up just a little bit. Felt better, it was easier on my chest and my shoulders, so. It was fun, that was the first time I benched since comp, so it was like three weeks after. It's been a while, but I'm chilling. I'm being more active. Do my off-season thing like I always do. I'm trying to switch it up. I'm trying to do some hypertrophy. Things are feeling good. Uh, my body weight right now is like 238. I think the next meet I'm going to do will be um, the hybrid performance meet down at Stephanie Hayden's gym in Miami. It's the first week of February. So I got quite an off-season ahead of me. <laughs> that meet, I'm like five, six months out. So... I'm looking forward to it though. I really want to get over a thousand kilograms, which is 2204 total. Um, I really want to get that, so I'll probably go 242 again. If I get the thousand kg, 
then there's a good chance the next meet after that I might go 220 again just to see what I can do. So I know I can cut to 220, but I really just want the heaviest total I can get right now, you know? Like the last meet I could have cut to 220. I've cut to 220 from like 248 before and broke a world record when I did it. So I know I could have cut the last meet, which I'm sure would have been like an awesome Wilkes and all that shit. But I already have the record anyway, so I wanted to do 242. But I do think someday I will hit 220 again. I have to give it one more, one more last hurrah and hit at least like 2150. So we'll see. But the next meet's not gonna be till like February, so we got we got plenty of off season ahead. I'm looking forward to it. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, you know what? I'll even throw a code below for like 10% off or something, the new stuff. But go to the website. All the older stuff will probably be on sale. And check out all the new stuff. We got great new colors. Obviously, the stuff I'm wearing in this video. But like I said, all the women's stuff, I'm excited for. So just check out the items. www.barbellcommissionapparel.com And of course, for any coaching or anything like that, just email me at growoakstrong at gmail.com. That's it. Till the next video.